Hello and welcome to another episode of Ghetto to Gourmet, where we show you how to use ghetto ingredients to make something gourmet, or we just make something gourmet and maybe bring it down a couple notches and make it a little bit more ghetto. We do everything from bottom to top. I'm at some really good friends in my house tonight. Uh, we have Sonia and Hector. You might remember Miss Sonia from uh, Judge Joe Brown. Miss yeah, Sonia. So free to rock in. <laughs> and I'm going to show her how to make one of my famous drinks that I picked up in uh, Miami when I was bartending. It's called a key lime pie martini. And it's really simple to make. Well, actually, it's not that simple because you got to get some funky ingredients. And, I and that's where I come in because I'm his assistant. Right. So, what can I get for you? Well, we got a measuring cup. Okay. You got your shaker. Now, if you don't have a shaker, not a problem. You just use two cups, put them together. Don't use two pieces of glass, though. Use a metal cup or a glass cup or a plastic cup. Mix them up. Don't use two pieces of glass because they break. We got vodka. You want to do a good vodka? We got Midori. You can also, Midori you can kind of skimp on. This is 15 bucks. This is about eight bucks. I've taste tested them. They taste about the same. The main thing you want to look out for is the vodka. The vodka, you can really taste the difference. So you want to use a high quality vodka. And, and lime juice, a little bit of pineapple juice, and whipped cream. We're going to put all those together. We're going to do uh, four ounces of vodka. Okay. I'm going to do uh, four ounces of Midori. We're going to do about one ounce of pineapple juice, just to give a little bit of flavor. And then we're going to put a whole bunch of lime juice in there. We're going to put about another four ounces of lime in there. Uh, here in California, you know, obviously we can get these uh, key lime um, limes just about anywhere, but what if you lived in another part of the country where, is, is there a good substitute for this? Oh, just any regular lime is good. And if you can't find limes, maybe they're out of season, like the other day I tried to get some of these and they didn't have them in the store. I found like a little cilia thing, those little green things with lime juice in it. Squirted some of that in there. It wasn't as tasty as real limes, but you know what? It got the job done. You know, get get in where you fit in. Sometimes you know, you get yourself that lime. So you get all that together. Get your ice in there. Mix it all up. Now you want to use a shaker if you can. Oh yeah, I just forgot the whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> Got a few, uh, maybe I shouldn't drink try. so much before I uh, start making these. Remember I was telling you, you probably shouldn't have more than two and I'm already on about my third, so. But it's, it's what gives it that creamy, sweet yeah. taste. Now, because you're using whipped cream, it's gonna cloak the flavor of the vodka. Whipped cream is gonna make that drink really smooth. The lime is gonna give it a little snap at the end there. And nobody's gonna taste that alcohol in there. It's gonna be smooth, limey, and man, your friends in about a half an hour are gonna be snapped. <laughs> you're gonna be the life of the yeah, party. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna have a party that everybody else is gonna wanna come back to. There we go. Now, I just happen to have a couple of chilled glasses here. Now, uh, put ice inside these, and then I'll chill these glasses off. Or you can just keep them in the freezer of your fridge and you pull them right out. Now I'm going to pour that drink. You can see the little icebergs about ready to pop out there. They're just floating. There we go. If you get a close up of this, see that little iceberg right there floating there? That little one right there? How you doing? When that meets your tongue, bam, that's going to wake you up. You want those little icebergs to be on top of those little teeny pieces of ice when you hit that martini. You suck that little piece of ice down and it just cools your tongue off and you're just like, ah, I'm, all, I'm not working right now. You're feeling that. You're not working right now. You're at home. You got friends hanging out. You're having a key lime pie martini. And your weekend is on the roll. Your weekend is on the roll. Let me just spice this up with a little bit more. Like I said, you can almost never have enough lime in these drinks. Now, you want to be careful. Like I was saying, these drinks are very strong. You got a date, something like that, you don't want her to drink more than two of these because then the, then the date won't be fun anymore. 
That's right? true. Well, and thank I'm, you, Rob. You're welcome. I could argue about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Camera guy does not agree with that. Uh, uh, cheers. Not cheers. too many martinis. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is dangerously delicious. Rob, you <laughs> did it again. I'm wow. your host, Rob, a ghetto gourmet. More to come. <laughs>